today we will be talking about today's youth and how today's environment is shaping the youth today and how it is impacting in the family business so that's the topic for today my name is gopal kamath some of you know me some of you are meeting for the first time uh for those who don't know me i'm uh, a coach to business owners uh we've been doing this for the last uh, 12 years and my main focus is to help business owners to drive growth and also to achieve streamlined operations in the day to day processes so this is what i do for a living i have over 28 years of professional work experience and i have worked with over 40 business owners across industries so importantly i understand what it is to be a business owner i understand the challenges that you face as a business owner and over the various discussions and conversations that we've had uh some of the Uh, the painful topics which keep coming up again and again are going to be the subject of these uh, weekly webinars so today's topic is one of the um, very common topics which most of my clients talk to me about and this has been going on for like over 7 to 8 years um, where the parents are always saying look the kids are different they seem to have different expectations and uh the the focus of today's webinar is to try and convert some of those conversations into uh, uh certain valuable knowledge points which we can all take back today in about an hour's time so why did i choose this topic the first thing that i'm seeing is that the generation gap in businesses is impacting relationships father son father daughter you know the the dynamics at the workplace are getting impacted because the generations are expecting different things the young generation expects something else and the earlier generation is continuing to think in a in a historic manner i would say so this is one thing which i am continuously seeing the second area which i am observing is that management practices have not kept tune with the times how the world is changing and how the businesses are changing are not at the same speed so when today's generation is coming in they are finding things not in tune with how it should be today so this is another topic which comes up a worrying trend which i am seeing is businesses which are started by first generation entrepreneurs are not being taken forward by the second generation because they just don't seem to find it exciting and lastly on a lighter note i don't see fathers growing up i see the fathers holding on to old world ideas the value systems which were not so um uh the rigid value systems aren't changing so this is creating a problem and uh, they need to grow up so these are these are some of the thoughts which were uh, behind uh, me thinking of this topic so when we say today's generation is different i mean every new generation is different when i was young i was different but when when i say today's generation is different what i'm trying to say is that there is a huge shift a lot of things have changed the world had not changed so much when i was a 20 20 plus youngster but today when i look at a 20 to 25 year old kid or a young man or a young lady i realize that they have 
grown up in a completely different set of environmental factors so today's generation is really different and what i'm also foreseeing is that tomorrow's generation is going to be even more different because the pace at which the world around us is changing is so fast so when i say today's generation is different i wanted to present today the top few points which i saw as areas in which they are different so what is it that makes today's generation different the most important point is that today's generation i call them children of the information age when we grew up when we were small children there was not even a telephone at home but as we turned 15 16 we started seeing those landline clunky boxes then as i got into when i was around 20 21 i first time access the internet so information was not there at the fingertips the way it was how it is today when we wanted information in the previous generation it would have to be books it would have to be libraries it would have to be you know some kind of uh, encyclopedias it was not available but today's generation has access to information so information is available at fingertips this makes a huge difference so when when we say access to information what happens they they have knowledge available when they want to know something it's available and that gives them power that gives them uh, some kind of uh, an availability which which we didn't have and when we have such people coming into the business they have questions the internet is an extension of their mind when i say it's an extension of their mind i'm looking at how today's generation is um, connected to the net any new topic anything discussed the first thing that they do is they reach out to their phones they are checking their instagram they checking on snapchat they checking on twitter they talking to their friends they getting information so uh, the the wide world of knowledge the wide world of information is available at the fingertips so it's an extension of their mind it makes them very capable so this is one thing which makes them different the second area where today's generation is different is that they are very aware and they are very assertive so when i say aware and assertive i look back at how the previous generation was without access to information we were aware only within whatever little bit we knew but today these guys are aware they are aware of a lot of things so some of the new topics which we find today's generation talking about is you know they talk about veganism vegetarianism uh, they talk about climate they talk about pollution they talk about gender equality you know these are all topics which are which are in the day to day language of today's younger generation and why am i bringing this up because this comes up as part of how the younger generation is coming into the business and asking the previous generation what are we doing about this so if you are if you are running if you are running a manufacturing plant your child your young uh, next generation may come and ask you about what you are doing with respect to pollution because these are concepts that today the young generation feels about they want to talk about it today's youngsters are very very clear about what they want to do why they want to do and if they like something they are not hesitant to come and tell you that look this is what i am passionate about this is what i want to do so they may have a father who is uh, running a large manufacturing business but they might come and say papa i want to be a photographer and 
and they are very very assertive about it right so there are many themes like this which are coming up the next generation says i want work life balance i don't want to work the way you do so the father looks at business as something that keeps him busy from the time he wakes up to the time he goes to bed whereas the next generation says i don't want work to be the be all and end all of my life i want to do multiple things i want to go um, have my life outside of work so this is another topic which i see happening there's this very very strong awareness about what is right and what is wrong so the young generation is very clear and comes out very openly and very assertively that we need to do something which is right even if there is an impact on the business they argue with the previous generation that papa no what is right has to be right now i'm not saying that this is what everybody does but i see this happening i see this as a trend where the awareness and the access of information and a certain sense of purpose a sense of personal awareness is leading them to think and forcefully present themselves to the previous generation to the father to the owner of the business and this is becoming a bit of a, a difficult point but when we talk about today's youth these are areas where they are getting aware and they are getting assertive there may be more and as i speak if thoughts come into your mind and you believe that that needs to be presented in this discussion please feel free to chat in the chat box please uh, uh, mention your comments uh, we will pick them up and we will talk about it so awareness and being assertive about one's perceptions and opinions is the second area where today's generation i'm seeing them as different so if today's youth has access to information and if today's youth are aware and assertive i want to take a few moments to chat about this so those of you who have logged in uh, you have uh, the chat box enabled for you i want to request you to please put in your comments here and tell me if today's youth in your organization if your children have access to information and they are aware and they are coming into the business now how does it impact you think about it and i would like to see some inputs coming from you as to how this new tool that they have impacts your business so i have a i have a few observations right so when some of in some of in some of the places where we have worked uh, i have seen the second generation come in and uh, question about uh, the hr policies right uh, some of the traditional businesses that i had worked with didn't even have hr now in the the owner of this business sent his son abroad 
for higher education and after completing higher education when the person came back and he looked around in his father's factory he said the first question he asked was uh, why do we not have an hr policy so now this was something which was a surprise for the father because he had come up the hard way and hr was an exotic topic for mncs he said beta hamare type ke companies mein hr nahi hota hai and then it took a while for him to understand and then the whole concept of an hr policy came in uh, certain people practices and other things started coming in so when the next generation comes in with awareness change like this comes so similar to this would you have any examples or ideas about how awareness and access to information can impact a company so i'm seeing some inputs coming in having information means nobody can take them for a ride that's correct when they are aware and assertive they will ask questions that's correct impact would be on a positive side towards growth yes that is right but it should be with a combination of experience and technology yeah so it's a it's a difficult balance there is no one correct answer here but what i want to what i want to bring up for discussion is the fact that these are new forces at play today when when the second generation comes in with awareness with access to information with uh, education from the wider world so they bring in they bring in ideas which are a little difficult to digest and when it is looked at by people with experience it's a difficult uh, situation to be in they ask questions for which you need to have answers new generation wants to have digitization in a big way yes very much very much and this is this is one of the huge topics which i always see the new generation comes in and says papa apne company ka website bhi nahi hai i mean it starts from there and uh, Uh, they immediately say we need to have an online store uh, we need to we need to do e-commerce and the previous generation finds it all too exotic they till till now they thought instagram was just something you played with and then suddenly the next generation comes in and says we need to spend money on influencer marketing and we need to you know do events and we need basically it means we need to spend money and then the previous generation starts really thinking you know what is this but then this is something that's reality and 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 the generation which is coming in expects the previous generation to uh, to actually accept this reality and even if not accept they expect that there is a discussion on this so having access to information and being aware and assertive these are two things right as i'll i'll move on a little bit and we'll talk a little more this generation also has grown up in abundance and opportunity Now, what do i mean by abundance and opportunity if you those who are as old as me or probably a little older uh, would remember that when we were young getting a cool drink or um, a cadbury's dairy milk these were considered as treats going out to a restaurant for a dinner was a treat was Uh, you know uh, once in a blue moon kind of thing but today we have uh, cool drinks and uh, cadburys and going out and eating this is like part of day to day life it's no longer uh, treated as a luxury so 
abundance means that things which were luxury sometime back are today no longer luxury today's generation does not want you to feel great that you are providing them certain things for them that's a part of life same thing is with opportunity the previous generation was all, was was grateful when they got a job they were grateful when uh, you know the company uh, you know did something very small for the employees but today if you look at it the youngsters are actually having multiple opportunities if you look at how the scenario is when uh, businesses are hiring for people the guys who are actually good and worth employing are working with multiple opportunities so things have changed it's not like you be grateful for an opportunity that you got now people are fishing around for better opportunities so when we talk about abundance it will be interesting to see how our per capita income in the country has gone up in the last 30 odd years right and this data says that our per capita income has gone up from less than 500 dollars to about 2500 dollars per annum over the last 30 years which means over the last 30 years people are earning five times more on an average so that's the abundance there is wealth which has come in and today's youth has grown up with this so more wealth around means a couple of things number one the line between luxury and essential is greying out so if you are running a business and if your next generation is coming in which is today's youth and you are talking about bringing in something which you think is a luxury maybe you know you say i'm going to put up a cafe coffee day water uh, coffee machine in the office this may be that um, the the next generation considers it not as a luxury you think you're doing something great but the next generation says but this is essential having a coffee machine is something which every company today has what is it great that you're doing okay it also means that the next generation is looking at options where the reward to effort ratio is high so they they want to put in effort where the returns have a higher proportion so what does it mean for you in the business they will start questioning you about whether the effort is worth it if your business is getting you say 7% profit they are going to come and say is 7% profit worth it you as a business owner you might say this is what i have been doing for 30 years this is what has paid for your education this is what has paid for whatever you have at home but they are not going to listen to that so they are going to look for options where the reward to return ratio is high and they are also looking for quick results this this generation is looking for quick results so earlier companies would take time before they actually became big see what's happening around us right when i talk to youngsters when i talk to people who become the next generation business owners i often find that at the back of their mind they are looking at some of these startups right and we have seen how the startup culture has really taken off in india in the last 10 to 15 years a part of the reason is also because 
people want to see quick results and some of these companies are like uh, the the pole stars for them these are the icons these are the idols whom they are trying to emulate and look at how the trend is changing infosys took about 18 years to become a unicorn which is to have a billion dollars in valuation and if you see the trend is reducing the amount of time taken to become a large highly valued company is reducing and this is playing on the mind of today's youth when they talk to their fathers they are saying papa aapne 25 saal kaam kiya abhi company ka turnover 30 crore hai to kya great kiya aap to din raat kaam karte ho you are working day and night but this is what it is finally but look at look at what is going on outside and look at what is playing on their mind right i'm i'm seeing that in the chat there is discussion about digitization and a lot of these new age businesses are all digital businesses but this is what is going on in their mind so when today's youth is coming into business and talking about digital they are actually saying you need to work towards getting quicker results right i'm sure all of you know about shark tank and all these people who come on shark tank are actually poster boys for this today's youth a lot of whom i meet aspire to be this a lot of whom i see want to follow some of the uh, uh, some of the um, uh, roads or the paths which these people have taken i don't want to say it's good or bad i don't want to say whether it's uh, risky or not risky i don't want to say i don't want to say anything about you know growing uh, growing on uh, investors money uh, you know bloating up a company for valuation and selling it these are topics of a different discussion for today's discussion what i want to say is this is playing on the minds of today's generation and they are bringing it into the family business and i want to re emphasize that having awareness of this is important how to address it in our respective environment is something that we can do separately but at least being aware that this is what they bring at the back of their mind helps us engage with them better so i want to invite you once again i spoke about two more points i said today's youth has abundance and opportunity and they want quick results so given this scenario i want to ask you when these kids come into the business how does it impact you how does it impact you when the when the next generation comes in and says we need to have quicker results so so what i have observed is when youth comes in okay there are some comments coming in let me go through them so they may not relate to the struggles that the parents or grandparents went through yes 
absolutely right. And I've actually seen this happen uh, where at one of our clients' place, uh, the, the younger generation came in and uh, what, this, what, he, what he said to his father was that I, I respect the struggles that you went through. But you are you, I am me. Don't hold me responsible for your difficulties. It was a very, very difficult situation. But the son was very clear in what he said. And I think this is this comes out of what I said earlier, awareness and assertiveness. Where the son said, just because you went through difficulty, why are you passing the burden of that on to me? It was very mature on part of the son. Of course, I felt he should have conveyed it in a much more uh, softer and a more em uh, empathetic manner. Uh, but yes, this discussion happened. Uh, another comment which says it may affect the employees being there loyal for many years. Oh, it's a lovely point. Uh, it is a lovely point because um, when, a, when a company grows up, uh, especially when the first generation actually starts the company and uh, makes it uh, uh, a viable and a growing business, it's not just the effort of that one uh, business owner. A lot of people in this team have been part of that journey. And when they've been part of the journey, somehow they are also part of the previous generation. And when the next generation comes in, there is there is a bit of a there is a bit of a conflict because again it is a, a gap in expectation. So the new generation comes in, and one of the things that they say is, uh, you know, the people who I have in the organization today cannot take the company where I want to take it. It's a very difficult situation. Um, there is a lot of emotions uh, involved here because uh, all said and done, the loyal employees have been there for 10, 20, 30 years and we just can't uh, ask them to leave overnight. At the same time, the, the young next generation who has come in has probably been seeing those people as a child and you know they might have said uncle, kaka, chacha, and then suddenly they have come in and they are their boss. So it's difficult, but and the younger generation who comes in needs to be coached a little bit, where they have to know that okay, they may not be uh, uh, their, their skills may not be up to date uh, with what the business needs today, but they're bringing in. Um, a wider knowledge, experience, and uh, loyalty is worth its weight in gold. So somebody will have to help the young generation make this balance. But it definitely is a point where uh, uh, the speed of what is expected and what the organization can do don't match. Very good point. Thanks for bringing it up. Having patience sometimes is essential when they want quick results. They may lose interest soon and easily. That's a, that's a very, very correct point. In fact, it's something I want to speak uh, uh, in a few minutes. It's a very valid point. So I'll, I'll move on to the next uh, point. So for today's generation, for today's youth, uh, they have huge potential which needs to be harnessed by owners. I guess this is related to the previous slide about uh, uh, the, the old timers in the company. Absolutely right. Huge potential to be harnessed is very right. Uh, it needs to be brought into the perspective of where the future is and how the past experience can be harnessed. It's a very, very valid, very valid point. So I'm moving ahead to another point related to today's youth and that is that for today's youth, the community opinion matters a lot. 
So when I say community, what is this community I'm talking about? The community that I'm talking about is the social community or the online community that today's youth is involved in. In the previous generation, the community meant within your social circle physically. But today the community means the community which the person has on Instagram, the followers on Instagram, the friends on Facebook, the people who are connects with you on LinkedIn, whom you are having your Snapchat with, right? Your Twitter followers. So all this is community for today's youth. And what they think about you has become very, very important. And I think a lot of people from the previous generation don't, don't understand this. So when I say opinion matters, today's youth wants to be with the trend. If there is a trend happening today, they want to be with it. And when I say a trend, it could mean anything from, you know, uh, a trend which is going on on Instagram where you're supposed to make a reel and post it. Or to a trend where how business is happening in other areas should also be the way we do business. So they want, they don't want to be left behind. You must have all heard of uh, the new word called FOMO fear of missing out. So FOMO is a big part of how today's youth lives their life. Looking good is important for today's youth. So looking good is not only about what you wear, how you look, uh, your physical appearance. Looking good also means from a business perspective, does your business look good? So if I if, if the child invites his or her friends to the company, it matters to them what the others think about the organization. So if, uh, if, if the interiors in your office are, were last done in 1980, then I don't think today's youth will want to be part of it. They would want to be seen in places which look good. So this is very important for today's generation. So looking good also automatically connects to Instagram and you know people posting their reels and people posting their experiences, right? So connected to that, what is also happening is today's youth is very high on peer pressure. So there are many occasions where I've seen in family businesses the next gen comes and asks the father, Papa, aapne or whoever, Ramesh ne ek saath business start kiya, unki company abhi dekho, so crore kar rahi hai. Why are we still stuck at 20 crores per annum? These are real discussions which happen and uh, this is coming out of what the community is feeding back to the youth and how they are perceiving it. So peer pressures are very high. And because of how the youth has grown, which is they, they've grown up in abundance, they are very assertive, they have a lot of opportunities. Now, given all of this, life being life, everything doesn't go the way we expect it to happen. And when there are setbacks, I've seen that today's youth find difficult to deal with setbacks and uh, that explains also the the huge rise in self-help the huge rise in uh, behavioral coaches this uh, uh, whole new discussion around uh, depression right so all this all this is uh, the outcome of how the world is changing and how today's youth is coming up and getting into the 
business as the second generation with this as the background with this as the environmental factors which play on them and it's happening to you it's happening in your business it's happening in the next generation coming in to your company even if we do not talk about the next generation of the family business your employees who are coming in in their 20s are also from the same gene pool of course that's a topic for a for a separate discussion but knowing today's youth is very very important there are a couple of more points related to this but i guess today we don't have so much time uh but this is what today's youth is made of this is what today's youth comes in front of you with this this is the record which is playing in their subconscious and what you see is the impact of that on their behavior so these were the main points i wanted to share and with these insights i want to ask you if you are a business owner how do you think we should align with today's youth let me see some insights from uh, the participants yeah my my last point was uh my last point was that community opinion matters today's youth is very very sensitive to how the community that he or she is part of looks up to him or her it matters to them whether they are seen as someone who is always with the trend whether they look good whether what they are doing the environments that they are part of do they look good they are subject to peer pressures and they have difficulties dealing with setbacks because to a great extent they come up with a privileged background so that was what i had mentioned that was my last point so i i was requesting uh, the participants that with with these insights what would your approach be to handle today's youth when they come into the organization asking for recommendations from social media posts okay it will help us understand what appeals to them okay good point so it starts with you know having a social media channel first 
for a lot of organizations, it starts with, you know, saying, okay, let's first have a website. Let's first have an Instagram channel. Yeah. Be a friend to him or her. Accept the change. Update yourself. One should keep in mind that the company is also young. This new phase should be nurtured to grow further. Look at it as your second baby. Yes, that's that's a good point. Yeah. Accept the change. So accept the change is the most uh, uh, most difficult yet most realistic part of how to deal with this. Uh, I have seen situations where uh, the, the first generation entrepreneur has grown to 80, 85 years of age, doesn't let go, doesn't pass on the control of the company, doesn't change the way the organization works and therefore you know doesn't change and doesn't allow others to change it's a very frustrating environment in certain places but uh, yes uh, having the courage to accept the change and being strong enough to let go and having the confidence in the next generation giving them uh, you know the 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 environment grooming them to balance both the changed environment that they have grown up in and the experience that comes out of whatever the previous generation did bring both of them together and it takes time there's there's an overlap it can take anywhere between three to five years so, um, there has to be patience shown by the previous generation uh, because uh, the younger generation today does not like to be uh, treated with authority. They would like to be treated as friends and I think uh, what what uh, you mentioned just here was right that be a friend to him or her uh, and then yes it can it can work out uh, 